the current winds right now at 16 miles an hour gusting to 24. Nothing says lacrosse like February, Joe. Of course, as we said, Joe Amplo told us before the game, this is like tropical compared to Marquette. Underway, men's in the Under Armour white jerseys. They win the opening faceoff. Right down the middle of the box. Bouncing shot. McKinley turns it. And how about Polker scoring his first career point against Mount St. Mary's with the goal here to give the mids the early 1-0 lead. In his very first game. On his very first shot. And a whistle and a procedure call against the mids. Jacob Jarris out to take the face off for the mids there. Putting behind, plants the foot and turns back to the inside away from him. And creates the space necessary with a wicked shot upstairs to tie this game at one. Face off win here by the mount. Fields coming the other way, had it stripped from behind. Nice job by Kittleberger for Navy to knock that away. Bonnet's trying to clear it. He rolls it across the midfield line. Ball is free. And the mid's able to get the ground ball. Sweeney here on the near side. To give Mount St. Mary's the lead. Jarris with a nice face-off win. Strip from behind, though. Good trail check that time by Steven Schmidt, the junior out of Cambridge, New York, to get it away. Well, after scrimmaging the likes of Virginia and North Carolina, two top five teams, Miz going to find out about their medal here, Joe, under game conditions. Already that you expect him to do what he just did. Scaliac 12 and 12 last year for the Mids, and he has number one of the season here at 248. Mids within one. Jarris wins the face off again. Start of second quarter action here. Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium, the Mount leading 3 2. A loose ball hold on the face off against Mount St. Mary's, or against Navy rather, gives it to Mount St. Mary's as the Mount moves left to right here in quarter number two. Really has a lot of potential to be one of the key figures for this team as the season progresses. Connor Beals wins the face off. The Wixom, Michigan native, gets the Mount moving left to right. On that little room there, and gets his second consecutive goal, and it's 4 3 Navy. Violation on Navy's Jarris gives it to Mount St. These diagonal feeds, and that's opened up some room for Navy to have some free looks at the goal, and they've been able to bury them. That's impressive. I mean, not only the, the five goals, but you're just talking about getting 10 of your 16 shots on target. That's a pretty good number that you're going to work with. Nate Hammond on for the faceoff for the mids to get it off of the wing. Good work by Kittleberger. Now so the Mount cuts the Navy lead to one. 5-4 with 3.43 to go. And you're right, Joe. They just continue to go for those home run passes. Beals wins the faceoff. The swim move there to get free from the pressure of Zack Snyder. 5-5 five, five tie here. Late second quarter with a minute 39 to go. Faceoff heads out toward the wing. Ground ball battle on over there. Kittleberger sweeps it forward. Still down. Jarris trying to get it for the mids. Can't. Tolker had a chance to put a stick on it. Still battling for it. Bodies flying down all over the place. And Tolker comes out of there. And the mids will call the second final timeout they have available to them. Here with a minute 30. Balls as well for Skowniak. First team all Patriot League performer. And he's getting the season started well here. Hammond trying to win the faceoff for the mids. Hardest part is scooping it up. Had possession, had it knocked away nicely there by Steven Schmidt. But the mid's able to finally pick it up here. They'll play back through Ryan with 20 seconds to go. First half, and see if they value the possession a little bit more here. Hammond gets the face-off opportunity to start the second half. Ball comes flying back to the defensive end. Mount picks it up, moving right the second half. It's from the Navy defensive perspective, and we're tied at six. Yeah, Chase probably has to do a better job in the initial 1v1 there. Hammond came out of there with a face-off, got knocked down, ball picked up by the mids. Kittleberger done a good job off the wing. Mount St. Mary's regains the lead, 7-6. Second guy in sports I've ever known with the first name Cormac. First one was Cormac Carney that played for UCLA years ago in college football. Nothing like listening to the great Keith Jackson say Cormac Carney on a catch. Mids with a chance to win the face-off again. Everybody went following Snyder, who initially touched it. The creep yeah, I don't know. He seemed like he was distracted the entire time um, when the play was even going on there. And 
Swanson gets his third of the season. Hammond again has the faceoff one, but can't scoop the ball. So now it's become a ground ball battle. Beal scoops it up. We're going to get a push. It'll be against. Hammond scoops it forward. And again, the Mids having trouble scooping it up. They do get it here. Man with the assist. First time either team has connected on an extra man opportunity. Hammond again scoops it out to the side. Mids keep winning face-offs with him. Chase flips it behind him. Hammond sweeping it back again. Pratt ran in his way. He gets knocked down. No call. Loses the ball. Giblin picks it up. If it wasn't time to start to panic a little bit, now is the time to press out. Maybe now has to probably try to play a little bit out of character here. Try to, and again, they have the faceoff one and can't scoop up the ground ball. Never seen anything like it. Here comes Fields, the faceoff man the other way. Ball knocked away by Bonnets. Jackson's going to get on the move the other way right. Goal. First goal of the fourth quarter for the mid. And his 27. Competition for the mid. New career best, 1,188 points. So another star. Navy has just dominated star competition this year. Hammond sweeps it back. His own man trips him, though. And Mount St. Mary's picks up the ball. Wow. Joe, I, I, I can't. 